Hi guys! So, this is going to be a bittersweet... Whoa! Whoa, I just drifted. What the fuck? This is going to be a bittersweet video for sure. As you can see from the title, I am getting a new car. The appointment is tomorrow, 10 a.m., that I'm going to go pick up my new car. I'm so excited. Like, this has been something that I've kind of been dropping in videos a little bit. I still wanted it to be, like, exciting for the both of us, right? I wanted it to be, like, a little, a little build-up, a little fun moment. Yeah, secrets out, getting a new car. Basically, I have been working with the dealership for two months now finding the exact car that I want had to wait a certain period for the car to actually be delivered here so drum roll please I am getting a 2022 Mazda 3 all black GS and I'm very excited the car that I currently am driving right now is a Mazda 3 2013 GX so this is a relatively old car cars have a pretty long lifespan so it's not that old but I got it secondhand and I got it when I was 19 years old for my birthday my very first car that was my own which was so special and this car has been with me through all of my little adventures I genuinely feel like I have an emotional connection to my car which is weird but I do I'm just the type of person that's emotional and I get connected to things easily and for some reason my car is one of them. I love my car and I'm gonna be sad to see it go because I am trading this car in for my new one, but you know, that's life. You guessed it, what I'm gonna say, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me, for being with me for so long. This like family that we have on my channel is the most heartwarming and like best feeling in the world and I'm so grateful for you guys. I'm just so grateful that I get to do something that I love and that I've been doing for so long and then it's something that I can also pursue in a career. It feels good to put all my heart and soul into it and to get things back from it now and then. But we can use this final moments of my car ride to be my final goodbye with my car. So yeah, goodbye to the car that I love and the fun experiences that I had in here and I'm very excited to have some more good fun moments with my new car um, but yeah tomorrow you guys will get to see the new car and I'm very excited but this is it goodbye my hair I just got out of the shower and if you guys if you guys watched my last vlog I talked about the new conditioner that I got that is like the blue conditioner and low-key I feel like it kind of worked in parts of my hair basically what I did this is like totally doesn't relate to my video whatsoever but these are for the long-term viewers that have been watching my previous vlogs and are potentially interested to know basically what I did is I washed just shampooed my hair got out of the shower dried all of the extra moisture out of my hair and then I sectioned it I put the blue conditioner I left it on for 15 minutes and then I rinsed it out I feel like my hair looks more ashier I don't know actually maybe I'm just tripping out maybe I'm having placebo right now but anyways I need to fix my hair and I'm leaving soon basically everything that goes on in the dealership is kind of you know signing papers doing all that stuff so I won't take you guys through that but I'll just obviously show you guys my new car <laughs> Since I don't have any time to actually style my hair, I'm just gonna do my classic little clippy and call it a day. Let's go, the next clip will be my new car. I'm excited for you guys to see.
I'm also freezing. I thought it was gonna be a lot warmer today. The weather said it was gonna be 10 degrees and it's literally two. But this car's got seat heaters. So I mean, I think I'll be okay. All right. This is so... <gasps> You're fucking kidding me. You're actually fucking kidding me. I literally just hit the garbage. <sighs> Don't worry. Don't worry, nothing happened. Okay guys, now we're really on the way. Why did my backup camera not warn me <laughs> about that? I just also wanted to show you guys some cool features that I have in this car. We have a lot of different settings here on the steering wheel, control some different settings on my dashboard up here. This is definitely the biggest difference for me is having this whole entire like center console being completely different. I have a actual screen which has Apple CarPlay and I can mess with a bunch of different settings of the actual audio of this car. Of course, I have my seat heaters, my steering wheel heaters. I also have an application on my phone where I'm able to start my car from inside and also check through all the settings make sure my doors are locked check how much fuel I have how many kilometers I have left and if my car needs any maintenance or if there's any engine lights that are on I'm so excited I literally feel like I already drove this car around a bit and it feels like I'm driving on a cloud like oh my god I don't even know how to describe this feeling it's like I'm so happy and so excited and it's not just like oh like having like a nicer newer car it's just the feeling of like being able to do this for myself that's so like it's such a like rewarding feeling and I'm so excited because guys you already know I love to make my driving videos so this is the new car that's gonna be in all of the new videos and I think it looks real good in the camera so basically for you guys wondering this is a Mazda 3 GS 2022 an insane upgrade to the car that I had previously and Mazda just has like genuinely like stepped up their game it's unbelievable I think she's beautiful I have a sunroof that I've never had in my life before which is so dope there's just so many things like this is leatherette a beautiful vegan leather for the car it's all black interior all black exterior kind of sexy I don't know <laughs> it's so fucking cool and I'm so obsessed but I brought back some of my previous YouTube utilities from my last car but I'm just putting back some basics that I might potentially need my girlfriend perfume and this little purse which I'm potentially gonna fill up with more things right now it only has a cleanser and a moisturizer this was like my potential like last minute sleepover bag but I'm gonna fill it up with some tampons and pads later because I want to make sure that I have that in my car and I'm gonna put it here in the inner console wow it's really raining down on us isn't it so so far in here I just just have my hand sanitizer I'm also gonna put this little this might be so like high maintenance I don't know but I'm gonna keep a cloth in my car but this is a type of cloth that picks up dust so that I can constantly wipe my car of any dust because it's all black so you can see that shit really easily I'm literally doing it right now so I'm gonna keep that in my this passenger side thingy I am gonna keep my sunnies and guess what I have a spot for them on here <laughs> so freaking cool I am also gonna keep my tape and scissors I keep this specifically for videos when I need to tape my camera to the dashboard but right now I have like a perfect little spot on this dashboard that I don't know if I'll necessarily need tape and I don't know if I want to put tape on it but there's no harm in keeping it for future reference. And last but not least, you know what? I'm gonna keep a little clip in here too. I think that's good to have. I am going to put another scent pod in here. Right now, it smells like new car, and I know a lot of people love that smell. I don't know, I've never liked the smell of a new car when I was a kid. It used to give me motion sickness, actually. So we are gonna put the scent thing, and I just love the smell of these ones too, from Bath & Body Works. So I have one left which is vanilla bean. This is like the funnest thing ever. I'm gonna wanna leave my house every single day and take my car out to do absolutely nothing, which is kinda chaotic because gas is like a dollar and 56 cents right now, which is <laughs> kinda disturbing, but I did get a full tank of gas when I got this car, so I can burn that for a little. Ooh, she smells good. This one smelled like a man. I think it was like mahogany something. 
And then when I walked into my car, I was like, okay, does a man own this car or does a beautiful, stunning woman? Ta da! Mmm. Why did I just give it to you guys as if you could smell it too? <laughs> ah, perfect. Nice. Our basics in our basic spot. And then we have just the little towel, some masks, scissors, tape, very random things in there. I'm gonna need to get like napkins too to put in there because that's a common necessity. This is also how my fob looks if anyone was interested. Personally, I think it's about time to go for a little drive, don't you? Let's do it. 